annoying when clothes or lint or dryer sheets falls either behind or to the side or in between the cracks of your washer and dryer. Well, in this video, I will be showing you how I built this plywood countertop that sits right above my washer and dryer. So here's to no more socks falling behind the dryer. Hey there, Christy here, welcome. Here I show you simple DIYs of things that I like to build around my house myself. So on this channel, I hope to inspire you that if this ordinary mom with zero building experience can build simple things, then you can too. While using simple plans and simple tools and keeping things at a fraction of retail cost. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Here's a list of materials and measurement cuts I used for this almost three foot by five foot closet. This countertop is made from three quarter inch thick plywood. I'm using the Pure Brawn brand. It's formaldehyde free. Here is when I need to convince my husband I need a truck. Using a stud finder, I'm marking the wall studs. Just prepping the wall before we attach the cleats. I'm attaching the cleats to the wall studs and the countertop will sit on top of the cleats. Here I have already pre-drilled where the screws will hit the wall studs on our two by two cleats. I'm using three inch wood screws to attach the cleats to the wall studs. When there isn't a wall stud available, use a drywall anchor. Then attach your cleats to the drywall anchor and problem solved. Now on to the side wall on the right. Remembering to pre-drill first before attaching the screws. I'm using a scrap piece of 2x2 two two to hold up the cleat while I drill. I'm always checking for level after each step. Now onto the side wall on the left, pre-drilling first and then attaching the 3 inch wood screws. Just repeating the same steps on all three walls. Checking again for level and I'm ready to move on. All three wall cleats are installed. Here I'm doing a quick dry fit to make sure this countertop fits before I stain them. Here I'm measuring the countertop to find the middle. Changing the drill bit to a 3 quarter inch spade bit to make a hole and I'll show you why in just a sec. Light sanding, I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. Sanding off splinters and rough edges. And wiping the surface clean of dust. Next I'm attaching a front edging strip using wood glue and one and a quarter inch nails. Here I'm spacing the nails about six inches apart. If you're looking to strengthen the countertop, consider drilling pocket holes to attach the front edging strip instead of nails. And here it is flipped right side up. Next, I'm onto filling my nail holes with wood filler. Oh, and by the way, this is a one by three that I'm using for my front edging strip. You can also use a one by two. This wood filler goes on pink and it dries the same color as the wood. You know you're ready to sand when the pink is no longer showing. So it will look like this when it's ready to sand. Now I'm on to staining. I am always so indecisive when it comes to picking colors. I couldn't decide whether to stain it dark or keep it natural. So I reached out to you all on Instagram stories to vote and you guys decided to stain it dark and I normally go with what you pick. However, I was advised by a few people that since I will be folding laundry on this countertop, I might consider a light stain to prevent a dark stain rubbing off on clothing maybe in the future. It's a perfect fit and I can't be happier. And one last check for level and I'm all done. Okay, so this part may not be necessary, but I added this so just in case if we ever needed to unplug anything, it's easy access to the back of the washer and dryer. Phase one of my laundry closet remodel is complete. Phase two will be shiplap on the walls, and then phase three will be open shelving, and if I can figure out how to build some cabinets, then I'll probably throw a couple in there as well. So there you have it, my first load of laundry folded and nothing fell in between or behind the washer and dryer. I consider this a successful, useful, and practical build, so I'm happy. Is this something that you can see yourself doing to help make your laundry days a little more practical? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this. I post a new one every week. Details are in the description box in case you miss anything. As always, if I can inspire just one mom to pick up a drill, then these videos are worth it. Keep tackling those projects and we'll talk soon.